Hey guys, I'm back, and today we have some news and theories to break down for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, specifically Sony's side, because as you may know, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is coming soon, and the further and further we get to its actual release date, we get more and more merchandise. So we have to break down these action figures that are coming out for the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse film, confirming old characters to return for the movie, and confirming new characters for the movie. So let's break down what we can expect and who we can see in this film. So the first one is Miles Morales, and it's kind of hard to see, but it's basically the suit that he has, that we've gotten in the first look of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And I gotta say, the suit doesn't look that bad. I mean, as opposed to the painted one that he did freehand. I mean, yes, that was the first one, and that can never, ever be discarded. But this one looks more woven and, you know, like, a real Spider-Man suit. I have no problem with the original painted one. I'm just saying, this one looks a little neater. And the second one that we have is, it has to be my favorite, Spider-Gwen. Now, I gotta say, Gwen's new look doesn't look that bad. I mean, I will always be a fan of the classic, but as you can see, the sleeved webbing is longer, and she scrapped the, uh, the ballerina shoes for some sneakers. And I gotta say, this new look is awesome, and I cannot wait to see what she is going to do in this film now the next action figure i can't find an image for but i have seen it before and that is adult spider-man from the first spider-man film and the fact from the action figure is that he looks a little different i mean the suit itself looks entirely the same but the only difference about him is he looks ripped he's gotten back in shape and i think that's probably something that the characters are going to remark on him the most the next character that we've seen before is actually a character that was in a san diego comic-con 2022 display and that is spider ham Spider-Ham is confirmed to be returning to this movie through this display. I mean, I hope that's what it is. I mean, certainly, this would just be insane to have this character back. This character was in a display with a new Miles Morales suit. I don't know if it's going to be in Across the Spider-Verse, but it is a purple suit. And my guess is Miles is going to take some designs off of his uncle Aaron Davis aka the Prowler and this is just going to have some huge huge feels for me of course we all know that the Spider-Man of 2099 is going to be a new character in this film and here is basically a newer look people have said i think they said that like the eyes are different and the spider logo is a little bit different i'm actually not exactly seeing anything entirely different but i gotta say 2099 is going to probably be a huge character in this film and i'm actually interested on seeing what they have in store for this character a question that i'm sure a lot of you guys are asking is why is 2099 fighting Miles Morales in the first look of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? I am basically as clueless as you are, but I have a theory that it's going to be one of those... They're on the same side, but they don't know it until, like, the final battle or something like that. It's just... Who knows? It's a waiting and guessing game at this point. The next one is an entirely new character. This has been explained through merchandise, like I've said, and the merchandise is a mohawked mask 
and a guitar. And if you guys know Spider-Man like I do, you know that I'm talking about Spider-Punk. Now, I have wanted to see Spider-Punk in something huge for a while now. The only thing that we've seen out of him is he had one scene, one line in the Ultimate Spider-Man series. But the fact that Sony is just finally doing something with the character, I am going to love to see this. I mean, this is just going to be insane. I am going to love this. Now, what Spider-Punk could be doing in this movie is, I mean, obviously saving the world, saving his universe from collapsing or corruption or anything like that, but he's that kind of character that just wants to chill out, have fun, stop crime, and he's just like one of those, I dare say, crazy joy riders. but I mean, I just... I'm going to love to see what this character is going to do in this movie. The next thing is something that we've absolutely never seen before. I don't know why Marvel and Sony would do this, but I gotta say, something new that we've never seen before, that's basically what Sony is um, about. I mean, Venom, Morbius, Craven the Hunter. So anyway, the new character is... A cyborg spider woman. Now, first off, right off the bat, cyborg, I mean, I would say I'm in because I love cyborgs, but just, I am just so bewildered by this character as to what she is going to do and why Marvel and Sony decide to go down this route. I mean, this is just, it's cool, it's new, I would just. I'm just wondering why Marvel and Sony would do this. Now, one thing to note about this figure is that, yes, it is a girl, but just she looks so jacked. I mean, seriously. My theory on her backstory is that maybe she was a lab assistant who helped Bruce Banner to create the Hulk. And in the Gamma accident, maybe that's how she became a cyborg. And maybe she got a tiny, tiny taste of the Gamma energy, therefore making her huge, basically. But, uh, that's... I gotta say, the costume itself doesn't look that bad. I mean, I am a huge fan of the, the, the big cyborg arm. And... A bunch of chains for the six-legged spider logo? I mean, it's not only a spider if it's six legs, but I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat, I'm going to definitely want to see what the heck this character is going to do in this movie. But I just, like I said, I'm just bewildered by how and why Marvel and Sony did this. An entirely, entirely nothing that we've seen out of the blue before new character. I mean, that's just insane. And that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I also hope that you guys are able to get these figures, action figures, collectibles soon. Because... I am definitely going to see that movie when it comes out, and I bet you a lot of you guys are going to see that out there as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to join the Dragon Man family, and share this video with your friends. I mean, I haven't said that before, but I mean, I gotta say, it would be a really, really pleasing to my heart idea if you did do that. So, like, subscribe, share. I mean, people, see this video, please. See you. I will see you in the next video. Respect you movie nerds out there. Peace out.